What's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? It's me, Big Solo, aka Solo, aka Chris. Real name is Chris. You know what's up? Anyway, man, look, man, I'm making this video because you know this is this, this video is about friends. This is about people that say they're your friends and they have no fucking idea. They have no consideration, no, no clue, no idea, no clue, no, no kind of knowledge. What is a real friend? You see, for me, for me, a real friend is someone like me. A real friend is when somebody calls you. When your friend calls you on the phone, you pick the fucking phone up. You don't let the phone ring a thousand fucking times, and then when you see the person keeps calling you, you pick up the phone. No, not unless if you're doing something. If you're doing something, hey, you know, you're not going to stop that to do, to take care of a phone call that, you know, it might be bullshit, it might not be bullshit. But regardless, you're doing something, eventually, you're going to get to the phone. You know? But a good friend is, 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 a, is a friend that calls you once or twice a week to find out how you're doing, to see how you're doing, see what's going on with your life, see what's going on with your health. You know, that's a real friend. A real friend is a person that calls you and says, yo, Solo, let's go out, man. Yo, let's go to the movies. I got you. And then the following week, you got him. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and best of, you know, it goes around. You know what I'm saying? You go to a club. You go, you go, you go to hang out together. Or, or you go hang out with your other friends. And your other friends call you. And you got them in Facebook. You know what I'm saying? A friend is not a motherfucker that... You sell drugs to, you sell fucking drugs to, or they sell drugs to you, and eventually you get to meet that person, you have a, uh, you become friends, associate. You understand what I'm saying? An associate. It's only a business thing. It's only a business friend. That's it. Children come first. Well, actually, now, actually, the committee's for the children, so whatever life you choose that to live, if you're doing drugs, if you're not doing drugs, hey, that's you. But for me, a friend is a person that don't do drugs and don't ask you to do drugs with them, even if they are doing drugs. And you know that you used to do drugs and, and you don't want to go to that route no more. And you got your friend tell you, come on, let's get high, let's get high. That's not a fucking friend. A friend is not going to let you go back to where the fuck you was, to the fucking ghetto, to the fucking ghetto where everybody sees you. The first thing they say is, yo, look at that motherfucker right there. Ain't that the motherfucking crackhead? Ain't that the motherfucking dopey? Ain't that the motherfucking pill head? Ain't that the motherfucking weed pot, the pot head? You understand what I'm saying? Oh, ain't that the motherfucking dust head? Whatever, whatever, whatever drugs is your choice. You know, a friend is a person that loves you, man. That loves you. That looks out for you. That looks out for your family. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the type of friend I am, bro. I'm a type of guy, B, that many times people has called me. And I had stood without to hook them up. I stood without to hook them up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the type of friend I am. You know, that's the type of fucking friend I am, man. I'm a real fucking friend. I'm a friend that if somebody got a problem, a beef, but, but you got to be my friend, though. You, me and you got to click and we got to be tight. I'm going to be there for you. God damn it, I got three fucking bullets in me. Not in me, I got one, but two they took out. That 
Hey, I got shot up for my friend because I went to the I took the bullets for him. That's a friend. And when I went upstate, not even five dollars that friend sent me. And of course, once you added dock fees and but fuck it. I did it because I'm a friend. I ain't do it for money. I ain't do it for none of that. I did it for my friend, but it would have been nice. And the motherfucker would have sent me these five hours of steak. That would have been beautiful. You understand what I'm saying? That's a friend. A friend. It's not a person that tells you, yo, Solo, I love you. Uh, yo, yo, James, Bobby, Louie. Yo, I love you. No, man. The love got to be there, man. Because a man could love another man. And it's not no, and, and it's not no homo shit. A man could love another man, yo, like a brother, B. You understand what I'm saying? And respect that man. And sometimes you argue, and you, and, and sometimes he say things to you that is, is, is foul, and you want to break the nigga's jaw, but you don't do it because he's your fucking friend, because you know tomorrow you and him are gonna talk again. Look, man, I'm just, I'm just sick and tired, man. I'm just sick and tired of being tired of explaining to people what kind of guy I am, what kind of friend I am. You ask anybody out there, man, that fucking knows me, man. I'm 48 years old. I'm not a little fucking child. I'm 48 years old. I've been in prison. I've done all that shit. Look at my motherfucking face, bro. Not one fucking cut. Not one fucking cut. Why? Because I was not a pussy, bro. A lot of motherfuckers know that you go to jail, you cannot handle it, motherfucker. So, 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 you, 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 you out here, big and bad and gangster, gangster type. But when you go in jail, motherfucker, you wash your clothes, nigga. Or you want to get down with some fucking gang, blood. Or you want to get down with the Latin Kings. See, I'm a Latin King. But I became a Lion King in 1989, bro. When Lion King was not even fucking heard of. So, it ain't something that joined Lion King for protection. You feel me? Because when I went to Orleans in 1989, me and this other bro named Peppa, we opened the Lion Kings back up in 1989 because that was already there. And we didn't have no fucking lessons or none of that shit, bro. All we do rock was just fucking red handkerchiefs in the back, to the left. And then in 1992, I heard a whole big difference. I'm seeing niggas with black and, and black and yellow beads. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm talking about Latin kings. But whatever, that's not the point, man. Because I'm not going to put my bros in this. And this goes also for bros, too. A lot of bros out there, Latin King bros, that be telling you, old solo, I love you. You don't fucking love me. Uh, no, we are not. You just met me. Yo, I, yo, I die. I die when a fucking bro comes and tell me, hey, yo, Zolo, I love you, man. You my flesh. You, yo, whatever you do, yo, I'm here for. Why the fuck you lying? I'm not going to die for you, motherfucker. I don't even know you. I don't even love you. I love what you stand for. I love that you're a king. And to be and to and to love a brother, you gotta break bread with that brother. You gotta know that brother. You gotta hang out with that brother. You gotta walk with that brother. You got you and that brother gotta gotta gotta, gotta share time. Because any listen, man, blood said it. The best way, bro. Your worst enemy is your brother. Because your brother can get you at all times because he knows your weakness. He knows everything. That's why you don't tell nobody nothing about your weakness, man. And believe me, I had a lot of friends, but I, and I still have a lot of friends, B. A lot of friends that, 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 that disappointed me. That I thought that was my friends, bro. That I really thought that was my fucking friends. It's like two or three of them. And staying happy. But really, that's really, really one. That I thought he was a fucking friend. I thought he was a bro, a brother of my heart. He's not a Latin king. This motherfucker, I, I, yo, whatever, whatever, whatever trick or trades I had, man, I taught him. 
I taught them how to get paper. You know what I'm saying? I taught them how to do things to get money. I don't want to say too much because I don't want, you know what I'm saying? If he sees this video, I'm ready to give a fuck. Nick Balls. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But. You would have missed anyway. A motherfucker that take you out of Facebook. Because his girlfriend or wife tells you to take him out because she don't she don't she don't she don't she don't like your friend. That's not a friend either, bro. You know what? Let's make it official with the I'll be damned if my wife tells me, yo, take this guy out of your Facebook. I don't like him. I'll be damned if my wife tells me, yo, I don't like you hanging out with such and such. Yo, son, listen, my wife, first of all, my wife won't even say that to me because my wife got a beautiful heart. Anybody that knows my wife, Joyce, knows that she's beautiful. And anybody that knows that knows me knows that I love her and I will protect her. A couple of months ago, she got robbed. Right in my block. She calls me. She comes in the house scared. I'm laying down the bed. First thing I do be I get up, I grab the hammer, two hammers, because I got two, son, I don't lie, I got two hammers, B. you know what I'm saying, I got two hammers, and now the first thing I did went outside, son, in my underwear, in my fucking underwear, thinking that somebody fucked with her, but when she told me, I said, what, me? what happened, no, oh, somebody robbed me, I ran outside, B, when I noticed, when I'm in my fuckers, and lady said, Bobby, you in your underwear, and with a motherfucking 45 and a motherfucking 380 in, in, my, in my hands. And I'm like, yo, what? When I realize, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to jail. I go back home, you know what I'm saying, get dressed, go out there, look for this motherfucker, don't find him. I tell wife, you know something, mommy, call the cops, make a paper report about it, boom. I took my shit, stashed it somewhere else, in my other people's crib. Like I always do. Like right now, I don't have nothing in my crib. I don't carry nothing in my crib no more. Because you that's another thing. You can't trust motherfuckers. You can't trust a lot of motherfuckers that be saying to your friends, you cannot fucking trust them. Because once they get in trouble, once they get in trouble, I guarantee you they will snitch you out. Okay? So so any motherfucking my boys that get locked up, motherfuckers, and you wanna give me up to about yo, this nigga got this in his house, this is his house, he got this in his house, he got this in his house, motherfucker, you're stupid. Because no, I don't got nothing here. And all you're gonna do is make me get paid because I'm gonna have a nice lawsuit. And then I'm gonna find out who did it. And then once I find out who did it, <laughs> you never ain't know what time it is. Now, listen, man. There's certain dudes, man, that I like, certain dudes that I don't like. Dudes that I don't like, I don't fuck with them, I don't talk to them, none of like that. Dudes that I do like, I talk to them, and I take some of their shit up to so much, man. Up to so much. Now, I'm doing this video because sometimes I don't like to express myself. By being angry, I don't like that. I don't. I don't try to get angry no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to take care of my health. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to do all that. I come first, bro. And then any, and then everybody else comes. Then joys and anything. Cause without me, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of the vessel, baby. The vessel. The vessel is you. The mothership. You got to take care of the mothership, because without the mothership, there ain't no shit. You feel me? So, yes, I got to take care of myself and put time to myself and tell everybody out there that I am the man. You understand what I'm saying? So, look, man, I just don't want, for all my boys out there, damn, I got to get a haircut. For all my boys out there, man, I don't want you to feel bad. I really don't, I really don't want you to feel bad. I just got to tell it like it is, man. I just got to tell it like it is. And for those out there that do feel bad, yo, motherfucker, guess what? You one of the motherfuckers then. <laughs> if you feel bad and this video is hurting you because you one of the motherfuckers out there then that say you my friend and you not. You're a twat. Hey, get my number from Robert. Look, man. 
all I gotta say is this. Those that were, are my friends, I appreciate. We can hang. Those that are not my friends, well, you know something, business is business, we do business. But stop saying we friends. Stop saying you love me. Stop saying we this, we that. Because every time you cannot dance to every fucking song. And I think I've done a lot of things for my boys. I've done a lot of things for my boys. You understand what I'm saying? So called boys. You know, I'm a type of dude that I got a boy on his birthday, I call him. I call my friends to find out how they doing. Motherfuckers don't call me. If I don't call somebody, they don't call me. They don't call me, but I still call because you know why I have to call? Because I'm the type of guy like that. That's the type of guy I am. Yeah, I'm going to call you to, until you fucking tell me yourself, don't call me no more. And I won't call you no more, B. Anyway, man, look, man, right now, just let me let you go. You know what I'm saying? These are to the people out there. This is to, a, to all my Latin King and Queen brothers and sisters. A-D-R. You hear me? I'm more than K. But please, brothers. Please, brothers. And I'm talking about these new brothers that are out there. Learn. Learn your lessons, man. Learn your knowledge, street knowledge. And stop saying... I would die for my brothers. I would die for my crown. Because it's not right, B. It's not right. Ain't nobody want to die for nothing, B. If I die for my crown, B, it's because I went out there and I was chilling with some bros and shit happened and we had to get busy and boom, I got blown up or I got stabbed or I got beat up to death. Something happened that, that you know, what can I say? It happened. You feel me? Oh, That's how you say I die for this nation. Like the, the landscape now, um, shifted, you know, a little since we started this. You know, that's how you say you die for this nation because you did. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, what could you do for this nation, man? Uh, no, no, I, I don't know. You could do a lot for this nation. You know, those that work, those that thing, you can, you can cheat another brother. Look at another brother that's fucked up. Cheat him right, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me let you go, man. My name is King Solo, man. And I'm just letting you guys know what time it is. I'm letting my friends know what time it is. If they are my friends. Because like I said, man. A friend is not a person that calls you. Because, because he needs something. Or because or because he wants something from you. And if he can't get it, he gonna get tight. Man, fuck that, man. Fuck that, man. This is solo, man. This is solo. 48 years old, nigga. I've been around because motherfuckers can't put me down, bro. The only way they're going to put me down is by God, me. That's it. Hold your head out there to everybody out there in this fucking world. I love you all. And peace, all right? Peace. This is your boy, King Solo, a.k.a. Chris, saying God bless you all. My friends, those that say they're my friends, let's see, my lanky brothers, my family, of course my family, and my sisters, oh, excuse me, my wifey, okay, that's, that's my fucking friend, that's my compadre, that's my right hand man, alright, my wife, Joyce Rivera, okay, she carries my name, motherfuckers, anyway, this big solo saying sayonara. And um me arranges the play dates, notices when they need new shoes. And when your guys call me Silver Creek was just trying to rattle with you. And you see that I'm I'm not the same guy B. That's because I'm changing my whole shit starting today. Starting today. The old solo is back. Okay, the old solo, the old solo, the one that will put you in your fucking jaw and knock you the fuck out is back. The solo that will put a fucking bullet in your head is back. Okay, I'm back. 
I'm 48 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm older, yeah, I'm older. That's why I gotta be extra strong, because motherfuckers think, because you're getting older, they think that you're getting softer. Nah, pa, no such thing, pa. Long as I'm walking, long as I'm talking, long as I'm, yo, as long as ain't nobody got to clean my ass, I'm good. All right? Long as I can carry a little 22, I'm good. Picture that shit, man, nigga like me. Man, listen, man, let me, man, let me stop this shit. Yo, this is Solo saying ADR, a more than you heard? To everybody out there, to all the mommies out there, look, man, I'm looking for shorty, man. If anybody is interested, man, give me a holla on Facebook. Let a mommy know what's up. 35 and older, okay? 35 and older. But please, please, be you, okay? Don't send me a fucking picture of you 40 years ago. <laughs> For real, don't send me a picture of you 40 years ago when you was fucking 120 pounds and then you send me a picture of you, you like four, fucking like 400 pounds and shit. Please, I don't want to hear that. And, 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 and don't, show me, don't show me no picture of your daughters either, okay? A picture of you. And you know what kind of girl I like, man? I like a 5'3". She got to be 5'3", 5'5", 120, 130, 140 pounds, depending on the body. Uh, black jet black hair is beautiful. Blonde hair even better. Uh, what else? You gotta have a little beautiful eyes. I mean, you know those sad eyes? Oh, that turns me on. Anyway, you gotta have a sense of humor. You can't fuck around with drugs. Because I ain't fucking with them. You can't fuck around with drugs. I mean, weed? I wouldn't mind that. I, I kind of like a girl that smokes weed. I mean, it's kind of cool. We can make, you know, make each other laugh. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But um, I haven't met a girl yet that told me not to stop smoking weed. Because um, if you think you that girl that's going to make me stop smoking weed, you fuck. Um, uh, anyway, this is Solo, man. Looking for a girly. Looking for a wifey. Yeah, I work. That's right. I'm a bouncer. But I'm not working today because I'm chilling the crib out. You know what I'm saying? I've been sick all these couple of days. That's another thing. They motherfuckers know that I'm sick, man. And they want to stress me out, P. That's what makes me think that motherfuckers out there don't give a fuck about you, man. Yeah, because I've been sick these past days, man, for real. Been real sick. A lot of people don't know, man. I'm getting, I'm getting sick, man. You know? I've been trying to get in contact with my daughter. My granddaughter, my grandson, my ex-wife, I mean my ex-wife, my ex-girlfriend, my daughter's mother. I've been trying to get in contact with to speak. I mean, my, my, I lost my brother about, my, about a month ago. My daughter didn't even go to his funeral. That's sad. Anyway, this is solo, man. You look for me, I look for you. Bye.